Hey guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do for this look is section off the bottom half of your hair and then secure the top with a clip. And then go ahead and brush through that section and then using a 3 quarters inch curling iron you're going to take a small section and wrap your hair around the rod and then with the next section you're going to flip it the other way. That's what gives it the natural look. Now, I just so happen to forget to do that on this side, so we're going to bust through that side and then take you over here so you can see what I'm doing. So away from my face, and then for the next piece, go towards your face, and then just continue that all the way up your head. Okay, once you get to your very last section of hair, you want to get the curling iron as close as you can to the top of your head. And then you're still going to want to be alternating directions by pointing the curling iron on one side and then pointing it the other direction. When you're curling the hair close to your head, it's going to create that extra volume at the top that you're really going to want, rather than having your hair split straight right down the middle. finish curling all of your hair you're going to want to grab your hairspray and your texture spray if you have it and load that up on your hair. Use the spray to keep your curls tight and use the texture spray to hold that volume in your hair. Finally you want to loosen up those curls just a little bit so throw your head over and use your fingers to separate some of those curls. And that's it you've got tight, voluminous curls.